I think many people actually don't know that there are laws that protect us from cyberbullying in Singapore. Or maybe they do, but they don't quite know how to use them. So I decided to look into this. I'm here today with Benjamin. He's a lawyer who should be able to answer my questions. If I am being cyberbullied, do I first go to the police or to a lawyer? The short answer actually is neither. In oh. fact, a victim who is you know, suffering from cyberbullying can actually approach the courts directly. Um, and they are actually able to help direct or to guide the victim uh, through the system. There are some exceptions to this rule. If the victim believes that he's in immediate physical danger, um, then he should go to the police immediately. Could you explain what going to the courts look like? So what does that mean mm. for me who has no experience with this? Do I just show up and <laughs> sure. bring a look, look online? <laughs> like, how does that? How does that work? The state courts um, is actually uh, quite centrally located within the Chinatown area, Havelock Road. It's a very simple matter of going to the administrative counter, one of the um, clerical officers there, uh, or the court staff, right, who will basically take down your complaint uh, and will help guide you through the forms that you need to fill uh, and will get the information from you. And is that process uh, free? Generally, it is. The costs are very low, if any, at all. Right? I mean, this is really a matter of um, public protection. Is there a law in Singapore that would specifically protect me from cyberbullying? Yes, there is. So this is what we call POHA, uh, P-O-H-A, the Protection from Harassment Act. POHA was actually enacted to provide victims uh, to give them a range of uh, protection, either by criminal protection or civil protection against harassment, uh, and also against what we call false statements of facts. It doesn't actually require that these sort of um, intimidating circumstances be in the physical realm. Uh, they can also extend to the online world as well. How is POHA executed? The courts uh, will come in uh, and what they will do is they will issue what we call court orders um, to, to give you certain protection. Right. What um, they would get will be an order from the courts you know, against the individuals, a stop publication order against the person making publication of certain statements uh, to stop that, that, that publication. Um, if you breach that, then obviously that's a uh, contempt of a court order uh, and there can be penalties against the individual. Now that we know